Why should a woman cover her head when she prays or do anything concerning God? All right, let me answer that. The reason why a woman should cover her head because the word of God says so. That's right. In the 11th chapter of 1 Corinthians, that lets you know lies is everywhere. Mm -hmm. Anytime as we're on the other side of the world in Sweden, and this is a Swedish brother writing me, mm -hmm. rest assured you the devil is busy in Sweden also. That's right. All right, let's straighten out the Swedish viewer. Let's get this. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and at verse 5. Follow me. But every woman. Give chapter and verse again. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and at the 5th verse. And I, want, I don't want to wait until this aired. I want to make sure that my uh, broadcast staff, when this is done and is all the broadcast is over, uh, wrap it up. We'll give you the address and I want you to send this to Sweden so he can make, he make his Swedish exodus. Yeah. Out of the church that he's in and I also want to put several more DVD so others can be encouraged to come out and then the truth of God will come and invade Sweden. That's right. Mm -hmm. And put Sweden on the right track, which is the, the godly track. That's right. All right, 1 Corinthians chapter 11. And begin at verse 5. What is it? But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered dishonoreth her head. Was now, that? the reason why God want a woman to pray or prophesy or worship him with her head covered, because if she have it uncovered, the Bible says she does what? Dishonoreth her head. Why? For that is even all as if she was shaven. See, when you don't have your head covered, it is equal to you having your head shaven. Shaven. Now, the head of every woman, according to the word of God, is the man. Is the man. Mm -hmm. And of course, the head of man is Christ. Is Christ. Mm -hmm. And the head of Christ, or the head of the Son of God, or the head of that flesh, God. was the Spirit, God, the everlasting father. Right. Now, when the woman have her head covered, mm -hmm. she's showing respect. That's right. Towards the man. Mm -hmm. And having her head covered is a symbol of power. That's right. That she places on her head, mm -hmm. showing reverence to heaven mm -hmm. and showing reverence to earth. First Corinthians chapter 11 and at verse 10. 11th chapter of 1 Corinthians in verse 10. For this cause. For this reason. Ought the woman to have power on her head. She ought to have power on her head. Because. Because of, of what? Of the angels. You see when she cover her head. Mm -hmm. It shows respect to the angels. Mm -hmm. Because the angels bear the shape of men. That's right. And when she cover. Now this is not having your head covered. Covered. No. Sir. no. I want this to be good to you folk that think you're too cute to cover your head. Yeah. This is not having your head covered. Mm -hmm. I want you to get this. <laughs> Amen. You sisters, your head ain't covered. Amen. Are you listening? That's right. So when you have your head covered, you show honor and humility to God. Because God said the head of every woman is the man. Now I know many of you preachers, that's in the UPC and PAW and other fictional organizations. Amen. Amen. Where you tell the woman, you quote the scripture, her hair is a covering. Yeah. Let's explain that and let's read that because we're not going to dodge that. First Corinthians 11 and at verse 15. All right. But if a woman have long hair. If a woman have long hair. It is a glory to her. It is a glory to her. For her hair is given her for a covering. It's giving her for a covering. Mm -hmm. Now, covering and cover. Covered. It's different. That's right. A woman or a child is born with hair, they're born with a covering. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. But when you take that child outside, you cover the covering. That's right. <clears throat> what you do, you may put a little hat on it or a little bottle or a little scarf on it. What you do, you're, you covered, covered the covering. That's right. Covering means that which is incomplete. That's right. So the, when you got long hair, yes, is a covering. Mm -hmm. But God wants you to cover. cover. The covering. That's right. And when you don't cover mm -hmm. the covering, mm -hmm. you're left uncovered. Un 
That's right. Amen. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Are you getting me? That's right. You see, my hair, what I got, <laughs> is a covering. Yeah. But if I if I do this, my covering mm -hmm. is covered. <laughs> you understand? That's right. It, it's covered. That's right. But if I mm -hmm. un take what covered my head, take it off, mm -hmm. now it's uncovered, mm -hmm. and I'm simply left with covering. That's right. That's right. And it's a very short covering too, isn't it? <laughs> so that's why the God wants the woman to cover her head. It shows honor mm -hmm. and respect. And you have your head covered. Well, Pastor Dennis, does that mean outside of church? Yes, it means outside too. Why? The Bible said men ought to always pray and not to faint. And men at the Bible put emphasis on being instant in prayer. And when you wish up God and you're praying before God, if a woman pray or prophesy having her head uncovered, she dishonor her head. So the Bible said be instant in prayer. And men ought to always, 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 always pray. God tells us to be prayerful. That's right. Amen. Therefore, that means the woman should have her head covered when she's out there in public also, when she's at the job, when she's in school, have your head covered. Don't yeah. care how they look at you. Mm -hmm. right. As I often say, you say what you want about Muslim women. Yeah. Glory take God, but they're covered. Amen. Yeah. And they respect their teachings enough to cover. That's right. Yeah. But you get these so-called church-going Christians. Christians. See, if you wasn't so full of pride in the beautician parlor, getting your hair straightened and cut and dyed, you wouldn't mind covering your head. That's right. Judging you, yourself. You wouldn't worry about your hair is too puffy. Yeah. You wouldn't worry about your hair is too sexy. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. You are cover that stuff. Right. Why? It is the order of God. God. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Judging yourselves. If God ordered it, mm -hmm. glory to God. All right, Dan Demand, come on. All right. This question comes from Maria. What's that? She says, this question comes from Maria. I know in the Bible, I know in the Bible, the Bible says the woman's hair is her glory. As a woman, am I able to trim my hair, number one? Also, what if I don't always have my hair covered, example, with a hat? When I step out, am I dishonoring my head, which is my husband? First and foremost, the Bible don't says uh, the hair, and read it like that, the hair is the glory. Let's get all of it. First Corinthians chapter 11, and we'll start reading at verse 3. Follow me. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. All right. And the head of Christ is God. Yeah. Got it, verse 5. All right. But every woman. Every woman. That prayeth. That prayeth. Or, or prophesied. Prophesy with her head uncovered. With her head uncovered. Dishonoreth her head. Dishonoreth her head. For that is even all as if she were shaved. Now, let's get the scripture where if she have long hair, it's a glory. Verse Under 15. Mm -hmm. All right. First Corinthians, first Corinthians 11 and at verse 15. Listen. But if a woman have long hair. If a woman have long hair. It is a glory to her. You see, if a woman have long hair, it's a glory to her. It didn't say your hair is a glory to God. That's no. Right. Amen. No. <laughs> That's right. Mm -mm. That's right. No, no, no. Your hair is not a glory to God. No. no, no. It's a glory to you. To her. Man. Now, hair and head are two different things. Right. The hair is what grow on the head. That's right. Here, I want to itemize it because the Bible talk about both there. That's right. What did it say? Go back to verse, verse, five. verse 5. But every woman that prayeth. Every woman that prayeth. Or prophesied. Or prophesied. With her head. Having her head. Uncovered. Uncovered. Dishonoreth her head. Now, your head is what your hair grow from. Right. So God tell the woman you got to cover head. Head. The reason why I want to emphasize on that because preachers have said, well, covering your head means no hair is showing. That's not the truth. 
No. That's not the truth. The Bible were specific here. But every woman that prays or prophesies with her head. With her head. Uncovered. So if a woman got her head covered, but yet there's some hair that hangs from the head. That seen she haven't violated no scripture. That's right. Eh? That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. I, I, want to, I want to make that plain because I had one bishop. He wrote me. He said, I agree with what you preach. But I noticed some of your women have a hairnet on. And some of the women don't have a hairnet on. And the Bible says that a woman supposed to cover her hair. He had it wrong. Right. The Bible didn't say that. It says cover her, her head. Her head. Hey. Mm -hmm. You see, I believe what's written here. That's right. right. And I ain't going to make it more than what's written. Mm -hmm. Yes, some women, their hair is long. I got one young sister, a uh, little girl. I think maybe about 12 or 13. Uh, I think Sister Wednesday's daughter. Her hair, I think, may come all the way down, uh, pass away. So down, hanging down her legs. Yeah. So Sister Wednesday, most time would twist that up and whatnot. Uh, it would be interesting to find a net that long <laughs> unless she got to get a fishing net to catch that stuff. That's right. She got to have her head, head covered. Now, when you have your head covered, that's symbolic. That's right. Having your head covered is a symbol of power and respect that you show not only to man on earth, mm -hmm. but to the angels in heaven. 1 Corinthians 11 and at verse 10. Follow me. For this cause. 1 Corinthians 11 and 10 says, for this reason. Ought the woman to have power on her head. Power where? On her head. Where? On her head. All right, I want it to be good for you dumb bishops. <laughs> Amen. Because many of you is scripturally illiterate. Yeah. Some of you nuts have actually wrote me and wanted to argue and say, well, when the Bible says that the head of every, when the Bible tells a woman have something on her head, that's mean her husband. So mm. that mean her, the husband got to go around sitting on her head? My Lord. <laughs> you fool. That's a fool. There's a physical head. Right. Then there's something that's on the head. Right. That's right. Man. And you think God was telling, them, listen, let me soak you. A woman husband can die, mm -hmm. but she's still not left without a man over her. That's, That's right. right. Oh, yeah. That's right. Sir. Yeah. That's right. Man. Well, my husband died. Ain't no man over me. Every man. The head of the woman is the is, man. What, what did he say? And the head of the woman. The head of the woman. Is the man. No, just her husband. Is the man. No, just her husband. Is the man. No, just the husband is the man. Your woman, you listen, your husband can die. You can get another one, he died. You get another one, he died. You get another one, he died. Right. But out of all your husbands that die, mm -hmm. <laughs> glory to God, you still have a head. That's right. And in order for a woman to go without a head on earth, every man got to die. That's right. And the Bible says the head of the woman of the woman is the man. Is the man. The and man. that's bigger than your husband. That's right. right. All right. For this cause ought the woman to have power on her head. All right, now, woman, you got to have power on your head. Because of the angels. Wait a minute. When a woman have her head now, and I want you churches, you, you women that are watching now, I know some of the churches you go in and you have this little thing. Amen. You know, this, this little piece of folly. When I came out of falsehood, it's called a chapel cap. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, because you go in the petition parlor and got your head all straightened and dyed and all poofy. <laughs> That's true. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Just like the world. Mm -hmm. And then you don't want to mess up your hair, so you just set this little item yeah. on your head. That, that don't cover your head. Stop yeah. being a fool. That's you know, right. The Bible speak plain that if a woman pray or prophesy with her head, with her head uncovered. uncovered. That's right. She dishonor her, her head. head. So that means you cannot wish up God bareheaded That's because right. if you do, you dishonor man on earth and you yeah. also dishonor the angels in heaven. Let me show you what having your head covered means. For this cause ought the woman to have power on her head. Because of what? Because of the angels. Because of who? Because of the angels. I want to say, well, wait a minute, Pastor Dennis. The angels are not man. The angels bear the shape of man. That's right. Amen. Let me prove this with the Bible. Give me the book of Daniel. In the book of Daniel, chapter 9. Uh -huh. And we're at verse 21. 
Amen. Yea, yeah, Daniel 9, 21 says. Yea, whilst I was speaking in Glory prayer. Glory to God. Daniel the prophet said, while I was speaking in prayer. Even the man. Wait a minute. Who? Even the man. Who? The man. And what was the man name? Gabriel. What did he do? Whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning. Being caused to fly swiftly. And that wasn't a natural man. No. No, that wasn't no natural man because the Bible says to make it his angels. Spirit. 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 So when you have your head covered, that shows submission and honor to your husband and also to the angels in heaven. Not only that, the, if the Bible specifically tell a woman to have her head covered uh, when she's praying, and the Bible says man ought to always pray and not to faint, you don't want to be in public bareheaded. Right. You never know when you're going to talk to God. That's you right. never know when you have to talk to God. Right, so when you're out in public on your job or wherever, thank God you want to have your head covered so you always can show honor and respect to the man on earth and to angels in heaven. All right.